Hey, aloha, it's Ronnie Margolis with the Margolis team and the agency Kauai here on the beautiful Garden Island of Kauai. And here's a short video to explain the new tax classifications. Here on the island of Kauai, we're on a July 1 fiscal. So the first half of your property taxes are due by August 20th. That's for the period from July 1st to January 1st. And then January 1st to June 30th, the second part of the tax year, those taxes must be paid by February 20th. And before I get into the numbers and the changes, uh, let me just go over the tax classifications as defined by the Kauai property tax people. And so these are the tax classifications on which property taxes are based. A lot of times people say my house was appraised by such and such when they're referring to the assessed value. The assessed value is different than the appraised value. An appraised value is what an appraiser says it's worth. The assessed value is what the county property tax division assesses you for. And inside our tax system, we often can see the difference between market value and assessed value because if you do live here full time, if you are in an owner-occupied property, the county will never raise your taxes more than 3% in a year, as opposed to being an absentee owner. Over the last three years, the market's gone up a lot and valuations have gone up a lot. So the first classification is owner-occupied. That means you live here or you long-term rent it uh, within the county's parameters of an affordable rental. The next is for vacation rentals. So those are either properties within the visitor destination area. We call them on Kauai TVRs, transient vacation rentals. And they may either be within that area or they may have a TVNCU, transient vacation non-conforming use certificate that was issued for those people that were grandfathered in back in 2008 and 9 when our rules changed significantly. And for those people, there's three different tax rates. I'll explain them when we get to the numbers. Same for non-owner occupied. Say I have a second home here that I don't live here, or maybe um, it's a long-term rental, which would be anything over six months. There is this three-tiered system, which is new in our tax assessed way of looking at things. Then there's hotels and resorts, timeshares, properties that function like that. Properties that are zoned commercially, pretty much businesses, not that much, um, you know, residential in the commercial zoned areas, some mixed use. Industrial, in our industrial areas, ag, a lot of our land that's more rural is zoned ag. And so for vacant loan zoned ag or properties with ag structures that have a farm plan that the county's approved, there's an agricultural rate. And finally, conservation, land that's zoned by the state conservation, an owner-occupied mixed use that's often misinterpreted by lots of people. That means I live in the house, but part of the house is being rented. Maybe I have two or three houses, or maybe I'm just renting out a room. It may not be legally zoned or conforming, as we say, but if the tax department knows that you are renting out part of your property, you're liable, likely to be taxed at this owner-occupied mixed-use rate. Now, let's take a look at those numbers. So now let me switch streams on you here and get into the numbers or the math of it all. As I said, for non-owner-occupied and vacation rental properties, we're entering into this new three-tiered system. I have no idea how they came up with this approach to things, but basically, as a, someone that's lived here for 20 years, property prices have gone up significantly as they have pretty much around the planet and certainly around the nation. And the affordability factor has gotten more exacerbated as the prices have gone up. So the county is giving a break to those that live here full time, many of whom have gotten to the point where they, they can't afford their property taxes. And this is meant to assist them. On the other hand, all the absentee owners, people with vacation rental and investment properties, they're bearing the brunt of that market shift and their tax rates are going up. Although I would say, and many of you who are not on this island and live in states like Massachusetts or New York or California can attest to the fact that on a national basis, our taxes here on Kauai 
have traditionally been very low. And that's one of the things like people like about owning property here. Okay, so let's get into those numbers. So let's let's get into the numbers of the property tax rates that run from July 1st until June 30th of 2025. Owner occupied, that means you're here at least six months, you file taxes in Hawaii. The rate went down from $3.05 a thousand to $2.59. So if you're an owner occupant, you got a little bit of a break there. If you're not an owner occupant and you have a home that may be being long-term rented while you're not here on island or not rented at all, the first $1.3 million of value is taxed at $5.45 a thousand. The delta between 1.3 million and 2 million, or that $700,000 range, taxed at $6.05 a thousand. And finally, if you've got a property that's assessed at more than 2 million, the value between 2 million and whatever your final assessment is, let's say it's 3 million, so that last million dollars of value would be taxed at $9.40 a thousand. The vacation rental tier, that of course is the most expensive. So same thing, three tiers. The first million dollars of your value is taxed at $11.20 a thousand. That's a raise. The value from a million to two and a half million. So that next 1.5 million evaluation raised also up to $11.75 a thousand. And the portion of tax, if you've got a $5 million property, so that delta between 2.5 million and 5 million, that is taxed at $12.20 a thousand. In the hotel rate, the rates went up a little bit to $11.75. Commercial, $8.10. Industrial, $8.10. Agricultural, $6.75. If you're on state zone conservation land, $6.75. And owner-occupied mixed use. Well, what does owner-occupied mixed use mean? It means this. If I own a home, but I have a second dwelling and I rent it out, I get taxed at a, even though I live there, I don't get taxed at that $2.59 owner-occupant rate because I'm renting it out partly. It's $5.05. And I may live in a home that doesn't have multiple dwellings, but I've just got rooms that I'm renting out. Uh, even in that case, if the county has an awareness, the property tax people have an awareness that that home is being rented, then you as the owner are going to be taxed at that $5.05 rate. If you contest that and you want the property to reassess your home, they will come out and do their own appraisal. And um, that may change things for you or change things for them. That's the basic information as you see on the screen. You can go to Kauai RPT, realpropertytax.ehawaii.gov, and get a further explanation and more details if you want. But by all means, please call us. And this is really important. If you're moving to this island and you're moving into a home that's your permanent residence or primary residence, before September 30th, you need to file that home exemption. If you don't, you're going to inherit the rate from the person you bought the home for. And maybe if that person is very old, that will be a benefit. It will be um, you know, even lower because when you are an owner-occupant, the county gives exemptions for different age brackets. As you get older, you get a larger exemption from your... So the assessed value minus the exemption is what you pay your taxes on. But if it were higher you could inherit that higher rate. So by all means, be diligent. We, of course, will remind you when you close on your property, make sure you have your home exemption filed September 30th. And finally, of course, they're due. The first half of the year is due by August 20th, the second here by February 20th for the taxes that are assessed uh, in January. And that's the overview of Kauai's tax system for the year 24, 25, Call me, call any of our agents, email us, and if you got any questions, we're happy to help. You can reach me directly at 808-346-7095. Again, Ron Margolis with the Margolis team and the agency Hawaii here on Kauai. We look forward to being of service to you. Aloha.